like Cleveland has one of the best fan bases in basketball, in my opinion. But oh, it's yeah, like do. you don't have you don't have people signing up to play there. But unless they have like unless they make a trade, obviously, like Donovan Mitchell, which Yeah. Shout out to him, man. He's yeah. special. Yeah, uh the Cavs, low key, man. You're right. They do have a good fan base. <laughs> They do have a diehard loyal fan base for basketball, for sure. Uh, the 100% only thing is that damn the Toronto Raptors. Yeah, the only thing is that with uh, Donovan Mitchell, I think he might stay there. I don't see why. I know there's a lot of rumors of him just leaving. He would have to leave them on the table. Um, it's just well, I think the landscape. To the be honest with you, I think the media that. wanting to make more money. Say again. I think that I think the media wants to make more money. So for them, it's like if he goes. Not even the New York Knicks. If he gets traded to the Brooklyn Nets, right? It's like, oh shit, you know, we get we get to talk about him more. We get to go to Brooklyn. We get to cover this, that, and the third. So for them, it's not ideal to be in Cleveland, which is kind of annoying because, dude, what has like I've written about the Cleveland Cavaliers, which is coming out in a few, and actually the 18th, so three, two days. Mm-hmm. I'm like, dog, they done everything right. Like everything that a front office does, they have done it right. They moved on from the LeBron era. They drafted well, Darius Garland. He's a good point guard. I feel like he got underrated because of his injury injury record. Mm-hmm. But he's a really talented point guard. And then you also have Isaac Okoro, who's been solid. You have Evan Mobley, who's a future star. Jared Allen, who's an all-star. So they have Karis LeVert, who's a possible six-man of the year candidate. It's like, dog, they've done everything right. So for me, it's like, you know, you want this guy out, but it's like, why? These guys done right. Last free agency, they saw a weakness. They filled it up with Max Strauss. Yeah, I mean, I mean the, I, I, the only thing with Cleveland right now is that they don't have a lot of uh, assets to kind of upgrade. You know what I'm saying? But they're like, like you said, their team is doing really good right now. Isaac Okoro has really grown, man. I'm surprised. He's like, a great three. He's really guy. living up to being a, what the fifth overall pick. Like, yeah, and that Max Strews seems like a great pickup. And then you combine Isaac Okoro with Dean Wade. They've been doing their thing defensively as of recent. Being a one hundred percent, bro. Yeah. These guys. Look, you know a team, you'll always know a value of a team when their key players are gone. When Colin Sexton and fucking, oh my bad, and Colin Sexton and the other fella, Evan Mobley, were down, right? Mm-hmm. Guys like Dean Wade, they stepped up, Sam Morrill, Sam Morrill, and the the, uh, the second or second round pick, Craig Porter Jr. It's oh, like, yeah, dog, yeah, he played against the Knicks. Yeah. I was like, who the fuck is this dude? Like, he was <laughs> dog, killing, I he read was about, doing his thing. I read about him because I'm, like, trying to get back in the loop. I'm like, yo, this is, like, I second-round picks have become gems at this point. I, I got to admit, like, him, GC Jackson, it seems like teams are going to die for these second-round picks at this point. 